watch. Until Eluhimi comes, unless he comes in a day that you are not aware, because he may come on a day when you are preoccupied. And when he comes he will come and find that you are not watching but sleeping. Mark 13 8, watch. Because, nations shall rise up against one another. And also many confederation of countries shall be against one another nation. And then they shall fight against one another. And then they shall fight against one another kingdom, and then they shall fight against Elohim. And then they shall war against Elohim's kingdom. And then there shall be a great earthquake, and many other earthquakes shall be in many different places in the world. And there shall be famines, in the world and also many troubles in the nation them in the world. And these shall be the beginning of many crises and hardships and many deaths and sorrows in the world. Mark 13 28 but you learn ease parable of the fig tree. That when you all shall see the fig trees, that they are blooming and that their branches are yet tender, and that they are putting forth their leaves, then you will know that springtime is coming. And then you will know that summer is next, Mark 13 29, so likewise, in like manner, when you shall see these things coming to pass, then you all would know that he, whom is the Holy Sovereign One of Heaven is coming, and that your salvation is next, and that ease return is near, and that ease kingdom is nigh, and that it is even this close, and it's even at your doors. Mark 13:30. And truly I, e, shall come again. And I say to you, that this generation, that shall see all of these signs, that they shall not pass, away until all these things that were prophesied by the prophets shall come to pass and that all these prophecies that they shall be fulfilled in it, until I Eluhimi shall come. Joel 3 2, and I Eluhimi will also gather all the nations them to fight, and I, he, will bring them down into the valley of Japheth or Eyaphit, which is better known as the Jehoshaphat or Ehoshaphat valley, to war with Japheth, whom I believe is Russia. And I, he Eluhimi will judge Babylon and all the nations them there for taking my people, them captive, and for being in my borders, and for taking their land, and for taking the inheritance of the people of Israel, whom the heads of Babylon took. When they took them captive and they scattered them among the other nations them, when they parted all of E's land amongst themselves. And then I, E, will vanquish all the nation them, and then I, E, shall restore all things. And also I e Eluhimi will end all the fighting and the strife. And then I e will restore all things. And I e will also done away with all the wars and strife. And then all my prophecies would be fully fulfilled, and then all things will then be done. Mark 13:31. But you my chosen people shall be with me in heaven. But many in the earth they shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. Mark 13:32 But in that day and in that hour Satan shall be revealed and many shall know that he is that serpent and that old god 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 real and that no man Judas Jesuit Judas Jesus is his son and that he is also the devil and that they are the sons of perdition and that they are the evil ones and then the holy angels of the almighty Elohim shall bind them and then they all shall be judged and I e shall punish them. And then they shall be in hell, but don't you worry because ye's holy angels shall gather you. And then you shall be with me, e Elu. The son in my holy kingdom, or wheresoever that I Elohim am. And you shall be with me e Elu ya, your savior, and your sovereign king whom is also your sovereign father, whom is the almighty e, whom is in heaven. Mark 13:33. so, you take heed, and you watch. And you all be witnesses in the world. And you watch and you tarry and you pray, because you will know when the time comes. Because, he will be with you. And you will be with me, he. Whom is the Holy One? And whom is in heaven Mark 13 34, but for many I, e Elu. The Son. Whom is Aaman? Shall be like a man whom have taken a far journey. 
and whom has left his house to his servants? And to whom I Eluhimi have left here, and to whom I have also given authority to? And to all of you who are his servants whom are still here, and to whom I have also given a commandment for you to watch and for you to do your work, and that I, E, have commanded all of you to watch until I, E Elu, shall return. Mark 13:35. So, you watch therefore because you do not know when your sovereign, whom is the king of all the heavens and the earth shall come, and when he, shall return to set up his holy kingdom in the earth. Nor do you know when his comet shall be seen, and whether if it shall be seen in the evening or in the middle of the night, or during the night or the early morning when the rooster is still crowing, or whether it shall be in the morning or during the daytime. Mark 13:36. Unless you are watching, so that you may know when he, who is your sovereign king would be coming. So, you watch so, that he, would not come on you suddenly. And then he, would find you unaware, because you are sleeping. And then you will be like those foolish virgins. And you would miss out on ease coming and most of all being left out of ease kingdom. And then you would be lost forever, and you would not be a part of ease glorious kingdom. Mark 1337, Therefore what I say to you, I say to all. And also even to all those who are afar off. And also to everyone in the world. So, you keep a watch. Friends I believe that we all are in the closing hours, just before, he, the sovereign king of the heavens and the earth would come back. So let us watch and get ready for his return. Because I believe that the return of Eluhimi is imminent. Friends, and with all that is going on in the world today, it is a reminder to us and from the holy sovereign one whom is called he, and he Eluhimi, that, E's comet will be coming very soon. Because our generation, which is seeing these wars and that is experiencing all these things, and all these signs that are now happening, like the war with Japheth, whom I believe is Russia, is also a reminder that we all are in the end times, and that E will soon come whom is the sovereign of heaven shall return to set up E's holy kingdom in this world, and that we all would be the ones who would see, E whom is the sovereign king of all the heavens and the earth. Because this generation shall not pass away before we all see e. whom is the almighty e Eluhimi. Because e's comet with e. will be soon appearing. And very soon the almighty e. would soon appear to restore all things. Friends, there is still time to pray. And if you are twaddling the fences, and if you still do not know whom is the almighty e. whom is Christ and whom is the sovereign of all the heavens and the earth. Then this is the time to learn about E. Whom is the holy sovereign one? Whom is also called Aaman? And Eluhim? And Eluyah? And E Eluyah? And Eluyahawa? And also E Elu? The son. Whom is also known by many other sacred names. Because Eluhim exist and Eluhim E. Exist and Eluhim is real. Friend, then would you now embrace the holy name of Eluhimi? And would you now recite this simple prayer, asking Eluhimi to save you and your loved ones? Please allow me to pray. Thank you. O Eluhimi, whom is in heaven? O my sovereign king, whom is the holy one? Whom is called E? And Aaman? And Eluya? Would you please save me? I now believe in your holy sacred name. And I now understand that E. That you are truly coming. And that your kingdom is eminent. And I am asking that you please save me from all that is going on in this world. Thank you Eluhimi. For saving me. Aumen. So let it be. Aumen. Friends, would you now please follow the link to my YouTube channel which is called The Pure Gospel of Eluhim. Thank you. The end. To be continued.